Welcome to all participants. I'm going to present the valuable insights of my research, research dissertation, which is titled Try for Maintenance Leanness Assessment Case Studies from April Industry Buildings in Sri Lanka. In simple terms, it provides assessment mechanism to assist the, uh, the application of lean theories in maintenance activities. Co-authors are Lahirani Pereira and Professor Nanatra De Silva, representing the Department of Building Economics. Uh, when coming to the background of my study, building maintenance is recognized as a function with the strategic importance replacing the conventional belief of necessary evil, and it represents a significant proportionate in overall building life cycle cost, and it's amount to three quarters. Because these high expenses are occurred due to the insufficient reliability of the system, lack of management commitment, technical and human related issues. And those issues led to, uh, led to numerous inefficiency generating the waste in the building maintenance function. So as a favorable solution, lean consent was embraced by entities to curtail the opposite wastages and add value to the operations. Followed by the hypothesis regarding its universal application uh, developed by the Womack and Jones in 2003, we can also adopt the lean theories to <coughs> curtail the distributes in building maintenance function. Uh, so with that background, I have constructed the research problem considering the two perspectives, that is uh, industry and the literature uh, industry needs and literature needs. So uh, when it comes to industries, facilities are always driven by the cost, longevity and availability factors. And in uh, lean application, uh, total productive maintenance is called uh, is apparent in manufacturing in environment and it uh, impact was not comprehensively addressed. When it comes to the literature, uh, in literature it was identified that lean assessment is a common approach that generates more information diagnosis in the problematic area. So however, there was a lack of literature regarding the uh, leanness assessment in maintenance concept. So considering the both perspective, I have constructed the research problem as how uh, Lean maintenance practices are introduced and implemented within the Sri Lankan manufacturing environment and what are the lagging points to enhance the degree of leanness exits in the maintenance. So the aim of the study was the uh, is they uh, develop the leanness assessment model to reduce the wastages in building maintenance. So to achieve that, I have, uh, I have uh, constructed this, uh, five distinct objectives. So... Uh, prior to uh, go in depth of the study, I I will explain about the literal background literature background of my study. So, uh, first of all, what is lean? And it is a, a dynamic and knowledge driven, customer focused concept, uh, which uh, always aims at a continue, which always aims at eliminating the waste to create the value. Waste in a sense an input that uh, that does not form any valuable output record by the customer and a value in a sense capability to produce the exact product that customer records with the minimal, minimal time consumption. This basic theory and basic principle has been disseminated over uh, over various areas and maintenance is one. So lean maintenance is a uh, uh, lean maintenance is the <coughs> basically a, a proactive maintenance operation which is assisted by diverse uh, lean lean tools. So the term leanness is uh, always we have used many uh, occasions and actually it is a metric that is used to quantify the level of lean implementation and its progress and it uh, leanness can be assessed to uh, assess by practice based assessment or performance based assessment uh, when it comes to the leanness in maintenance there was a, there there are lack of particular definition for that context and so what we done was we have gone through the uh, past few literature and come up with a definition for the leanness in maintenance. So, <clears throat> so uh, this is the key terms uh, we have derived from the uh, past literature and the and, and those who were concentrated into the seven criteria, which I call them as a leanness criteria. Those are organization structure, nature of the management, management involvement, 
effective and efficient maintenance practices and utilization of inventory spares and materials and the and the employee involvement and the employee status so furthermore uh, we have derived the 42 leanness attributes for the investigating those leanness criteria in depth manner and uh, <coughs> eventually we have um, we have concentrated all those attributed on under four key areas which i call them as a leanness any plus uh, those are the maintenance management and responsibility leanness and then the if efficient if maintenance engineering leanness, maintenance for cost leanness, and maintenance inventory leanness. So those are other key areas uh, comes under the umbrella of maintenance leanness. So when it comes to research methodology, after deploying the leanness assessment model from the literature, I have deployed the qualitative research approach mainly because it's, since it is a novel concept in Sri Lanka, it is required to have an in-depth investigation of the uh, in the subject matter so for that i have deployed the case study research strategy uh, three identical cases deploy um, flowing the literal replication logic was deployed um, for the data collection i have used the uh, i have used the uh, nine sim structured qualitative interviews and get the data from managerial level respondents and manual content analysis was used as a uh, was used as a research analysis technique. So when it comes to research findings and analysis, I have presented the four key dimension, four key dimension which I mentioned earlier, the mass in leanness enablers using the radar charts. So <coughs> when it comes to the management and responsibility leanness, all the organization uh, uh, deploy the team-based organization structure, eliminating the potential wastages in terms of communication and information flow, information wastages. And uh, uh, what we identified there was all first and two cases, um, managers were given a certain awareness on lean practices. And they, um, they are in, as a result, their uh, decisions are influenced by the lean tools, such as Gamba Walk, Kaizen, and work the workshops um, five day workshop and those uh, they are come up with a versatile decision using that uh, lean techniques so when it's come to the case free uh, management was less aware on uh, level less aware on the lean lean theories as a result their decisions are just uh, their decisions are not influenced uh, by the lean theories so so as a uh, as per conclusion, it is identified uh, management awareness of, of lean theories is a key enabler to drive for lean. So apart from that, we identified that there's lack of use, there's lack, lack of use of visual displays in these uh, all three organizations. Uh, if we can uh, implement the techniques to like storyboarding to demonstrate SQDC data, that means safety, quality, uh, delivery cost and production data to the employees, it will be good initiate to curtail the information related waste stages. So when it comes to maintenance engineering leanness, we identified two organizations deploy the lean tool TPM, whereas other organization use, <coughs> use preventive and uh, corrective set of maintenance practices. So the organization which deploy TPM, uh, their maintenance will cascaded into two brain branches such as plan maintenance and then the such as plan maintenance and the autonomous maintenance in autonomous maintenance employees were given certain level of machine operators were given certain levels a certain level of awareness to uh, maintain uh, perform the basic maintenance operations and as a result um, as a result, uh, they can identify the premature failings and it helps to enhance, enhance the lifetime of the machine. So at the same time, all three organizations consider the safety data and they, uh, they, uh, they manage the documentation in a very effective manner. Uh, the lagging points we uh, we identified in all three cases where they were not using extensive reliability analysis. 
uh, use in the predictive and maintenance predictive and preventive maintenance strategies and economics levels for the maintenance activities. So when it comes to inventory leaners, we identify some sort of good practices that is local spare part usage and the centralization of the spare parts. Apart from that, the identified drawback was they were not using maintenance data to organize their inventories. And on the other hand, they are not using the inventory data to uh, organize their maintenance to maintenance activities. In fact, if we can use them uh, in a reciprocal way, it is quite important to uh, effectively utilize the uh, existing resources. When it comes to main, maintenance workforce units, it was identified having good, um, it is important to um, provide the skills, information and information power and motivation to get the optimum output from the employees. Case one and two, uh, deploy the succession planning, multi-skill training programs and uh, job rotation strategies to enhance the level um, enhance the levels of employees, whereas K3 is not. And it is also reflected um, their, their commitment to the employees uh, is reflected by their um, by employees' active engagement, lack of active engagement to the operational activities. So in all three cases, as for the all three cases, it is caught in um, it, it can be a good point if we can incorporate plan maintenance program with data directly from inventory system and adhere to the RCM concept to effectively address the reliability aspects of maintenance. Apart from that, we identified the cross-functional teams, some sort of good practices from industry, and it uh, cross-functional teams consider the different levels uh, of employees from different departments, and they were given some sort of uh, and some sort of awareness on maintenance and the uh, idea on maintenance and actually it is a good practice since most of the organization identify the maintenance as an unvaluating activity and it is a good initiative to uh, come, uh, change the mindsets of the employees also so as per the conclusion we can say uh, based on the empirical finding we can say sri lanka uh, leaners in the in the in the apprentice facility were in some sort of satisfactory level as denoted by the accomplishment of the 38 attribute uh, from out of 42 it recorded as a high score whereas accomplishment of 25 out of 42 is recorded as a minimum so as i mentioned earlier it is better to uh, if we can rec uh, it is better if we can extend the plan maintenance program with the inventory management aspect uh, stay undertake the rely uh, undertake the first to enhance the reliability components of the main uh, components of the RCM concept and incorporate the lean based trainings and promote the multi skills training job rotation strategies to maximum output from the employees. So, uh, so that is the end of my presentation. And these are the res uh, references that have been used. Uh, so, that is the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for listening and thank you very much.